The president has a long way to go before he wins the country's support for his new Iraq policy. An ABC7 News poll taken after he spoke last night shows 61 percent oppose a surge of troops, an increase. CBS puts the figure at 50 percent, the Associated Press at 70 percent. People are coming up with new methods of showing opposition. ABC7's Leah Melendez is live at a protest underway in San Francisco tonight. You know, Pete, there were more than 30 war press uh, protests organized today in the Bay Area alone. How did we find out the same way hundreds of protesters did through Internet organizing, which has changed the way people gather? At noon today, dozens of people gathered outside San Francisco City Hall to protest the president's plan to increase the number of troops in Iraq. Nicola Drake found out about the demonstration only hours before. About mid-morning today, um, one of the women at our law firm sent around an email from the Democratic Party, and our firm decided that we would all come outside here. We work nearby. And it's called viral emailing. I can send an email out to maybe uh, 250 people. They, in turn, will send it out to their list. This helps mobilize hundreds and sometimes thousands of people within days or even hours. Marion Chatfield Taylor is on several political lists. She says organizing demonstrations today is a far cry from the Vietnam era. No, it would have been a phone call for something that was going to happen next week or, you know, next month, and you'd have to make sure you called all your neighbors and send out postcards. And yeah, <laughs> so this is pretty quick. Some even use text messaging while at the demonstrations to alert others. The latest technology also allows protesters to post the video on YouTube to document the event and generate excitement. You really won't get a sense uh, through the national media necessarily of hundreds of small protests that are occurring in neighborhoods out in Hayes Valley, for instance, where anyone can organize 10 or 14 people to come together. To find the nearest demonstration, there are a few websites where you type in your zip code, giving you all the protests in your area. Most of the signs used today were downloaded from a website and printed. Technology has changed the way protests are mobilized, yet the message has not. I'm sad about why we have to do this. You know, I would, I would wish to spend my lunch hour doing something else, but I'm very grateful for the technology, uh, you know, and the, and the people organizing it. And two very popular websites used by protesters are americasayno.org and Move On. Org. And by the way, the protest that you see behind me is being organized by Code Pink, uh, popular around here. Uh, now, at this hour, there are 10 protests, and I'm talking about 6.05. There are 10 protests going on in the Bay Area. I'm going to mention them quickly. Pacifica, Lafayette, Benicia, Mountain View, Concord, Redwood City, Castro Valley, Alameda, Bolinas, and Mill Valley. And I'm live in San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC7 News. Thank you, Leanne.